It is a magazine that captures the spirit and essence of Kenya, a glossy that expresses the energy that is driving this progressive and exciting country forward. Uh, Kenya Yetu is, uh, is a fairly new magazine in the market, a lifestyle magazine. Uh, it's a unisex. Um, we print about 30,000 copies. Um, it's published by Gecko Publishers, the same publishers of Safiri and Travel Africa. Um, and uh, what we're doing with Kenya Yetu is we're trying to you know, uh, showcase positive Kenyan stories. Exploring the lives of the people that have a dynamic impact on what happens in Kenya. And this month's issue is focused on entrepreneurs. The theme is twofold. We are, we've decided to engage two gentlemen who are successful in their respective uh, fields, but also to show Nairobi guys how to dress for the winter. Men who are doing their own thing and also don't mind playing a bit of dress up, no matter what they're asked to wear. We also discovered that this kind of work is not as easy as it sounds or looks, and that crossing a street can be a bit of a challenge at times. The reason why we're shooting the streets is because we, we, we wanted to pick something very gritty, you know. We, we're shooting these guys in street alleys and we're shooting them on zebra crossing and, and, and traffic lights. It's, 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 uh, we want to depict the true representation of Nairobi you know, so something that um, most uh, dwellers of Nairobi would identify with. And we thought, uh, you know, studio shots are a bit of a cliché. So we wanted to put these guys in a, um, a, a very, in their natural habitat because, well, they came from the streets, so to speak, build something with their bare hands. By the virtue that you are shooting uh, young entrepreneurs, so the wardrobe has to kind of also reflect the same. So I thought of something very sartorial and very current and very um, elegant in the sense that you do have like the balance in between sartorial edgy kind of like look with a very uh, young and vibrant feel to it, but still with a twist of elegancy, which kind of like also kind of uh, describes the personas that you are shooting today, which is Farid and Arthur. Let's just say that posing for professional photographs is not the same as being part of the family photo during the holidays. There is a science to creating magic. A big part of that is an ideal backdrop, like downtown Nairobi on a Sunday afternoon. Yeah. It's going to be a nice clash of uh, slick looks and, um, uh, you know, downtown alleys. And uh, so it's going to be a nice, nice look that uh, a lot of men will be looking for. Well, this is the first time I'm doing a photo shoot. I've never done one before. Uh, it's going to be interesting. I mean, it's been two hours now. We're out on the streets. We're going to take photos everywhere. It's an experience I'm yet to experience. I've never, I've never done this before. Well, I'm, I've, I'm wearing quite a number of colors. There's blue, there's purple, there's brown. I, I usually don't dress like this. I'll let you know that. But uh, interesting. I, people are telling me I look good. I'm not too sure, but I feel good. Gritty, urban and popping with colours, this month's issue of Kenya Yetu is going to be a one-of-a-kind edition.